just a story, yeah. No, I don't want to be in it anymore. So, these are my last words on a camera. All alone at Christmas. <sighs> Fucking cliche. When Penny Arnold saw what she had thought was green eyes outside her window, she thereafter avoided stepping into the woods ever again. For those of you unfamiliar with the story, and there are many different versions, the most popular is told thus. In Victorian Hastings, there lived a strange little man nicknamed Green Eyes, who was rumored to practice black magic. He wore a cape of dead leaves and a scary wooden mask from behind which peered out his vacant green eyes. He lived off rotten apples and being more or less homeless, he sheltered under a strange woodland doorway which the locals nicknamed the Green House. He was only ever really seen in public at the May Day celebrations, where he generally terrified the children and adults alike by his foreboding presence. The rest of the year, the children would dare each other to go into the woods and knock on his strange little doorway before running away. One day, a child went missing, and soon Green Eyes was blamed for it. Some of the townsfolk went into the wood and invaded his woodland hideaway, and they didn't find a child. They burned him inside there anyway. And as the fire torches stole his life from him, he screamed, you will never leave my woods. His woods, he called them. And all his killers got lost in the woods, they became endless for them, trees everywhere. Nothing but trees forever after. It drove them crazy and they were never seen again. It doesn't make sense, does it? I mean, if they were all lost, who came home to tell the story? And that story is only ever told verbally. I mean, there's no websites or anything really associated with it. It's buried fathoms deep in Sussex folklore. Or it was, until Penny Arnold's film Surface bringing with it. Well, it is said that whilst Penny was editing the film you're about to watch, it was editing her. replacing all her happy thoughts with sad ones. And whilst she was watching the film over and over, it was watching her. There Outside, the title Penny gave to the film, is said to contain cursed footage, footage haunted by green eyes. Furthermore, it suggested that anyone watching the film is supposed to be inviting green eyes into their heads and therefore putting their sanity at stake. Having said that, I've seen the film several times and I'm still here to tell the story, so I wouldn't let it worry you too much. Please understand, this isn't my film, it's Penny Arnold's film. I'm simply here to present it to you and to wish you many sleepless nights. Now, all I have to do is to pray that I can find my way out of these woods and that I'm not forever lost, particularly as I have a chicken dinner waiting for me at home. Well, that's a good sign. Yes, I think we're okay.
Welcome back. Did you miss me? For those of you new to my channel, this is the raw deal on modern day psychology and not some watered down version for Reader's Digest. Our heads try to fuck us up 24 seven, destroying our personal relationships in the worst of cases. I myself am a battle scarred survivor of this crazy little thing called life. And I'm here to help you take the power back. In this episode, we dive deep into the issues at hand and as ever ask the hard questions that everyone's afraid of. Next week, I'll be investigating the curious phenomenon of agoraphobia. Don't know what it is? Tune into YouTube on Thursday to find out. As ever, thanks for watching and feel free to hit that subscribe and like button below. I'm hungry. Let's get donuts. Nothing had better shit on me. Okay, um, action. Here we are in Hastings Old Town, East Essex. Oh, fuck. Sorry. Sorry, can we go again? Sussex, Sussex, Sussex. Why do I keep saying Essex? I want to ride that ghost train. No, no, no. Come on. We can film our reactions. Fucking out at me, I can't do this. Just a little tank compared to the bunch of jump I did last week. <laughs> Say it. No. Nicole. Yeah. Say it. I I grew up. <laughs> what? I grew up. How do you say it? Agoraphobia. Welcome, viewers, to a very special episode of Psychology Inside Out, where we're looking into the phenomenon of agoraphobia. We're here in Hastings Old Town, East Sussex, home of the Battle of 1066. Now in 2016, up on top of these hills behind me, a lady named Sarah has undergone a psychological battle of her own. She's lived shut up inside her cottage for the last five years, never having left her front door once. Now, what is it she's so afraid of? Here is, of course, a very extreme version of the condition. As sufferers usually have bouts of not feeling that they can go outside, and at other times they can. But for Sarah, it's more than that. Indeed, I undertake the very specific challenge with all my viewers here as witnesses that I can get her to freely step outside her front door in just 10 days. I'm going to get inside her head and defeat whatever fear she has about leaving her home. Sarah is originally from California, but moved over to London to study nursing before moving down to the Sussex coast. Join me tomorrow for the first episode where my only initial goal will be making her smile. Up there. We hadn't heard from Max for a while and uh, suddenly we get this uh, link to a YouTube channel that he was doing. Psychology Inside Out, whatever that's supposed to mean. And you know, I'm with just a psychology degree from the University of Hull, he suddenly went viral. Whatever that is. Anyway, his, his name was really proud. Critics weren't so nice, and I think some of the professionals in the area thought that he was only scratching the surface of some of the issues that he was focusing on. I don't know whether it was chronic depression or eating disorders or whatever. It's like this bolt of energy. I mean, I don't know how to describe it. He was really able to help people because he was so enthusiastic and, and, and he really believed that people's psychological problems were entirely in their heads and all, all, all they needed was a, just a shift in thinking to be free of them. Okay, here we are. That's disappointingly normal. Well, why wouldn't it? Because it's in the middle of nowhere. You wanted bats flying out the chimney? Right, keep the camera rolling as we meet her, but if she starts to freak out, turn it off, or at least pretend to turn it off. Sarah? Why am I so nervous? Hello, I'm so sorry. I was hoovering. It's uh, Max we Skyped last week. Is it Thursday already? Uh, I was thinking the same thing myself. My goodness, so strange to see you in person after on the YouTube. Huh. 
I look better in real life, I hope. You always look so smart in your blazers. Thank you. Well, um, do come in. Oh, I can turn the camera off. No, that's fine. I just wasn't expecting. Um, well, do come in anyway. Uh, sorry about the mess. Um, should we sit down? Is your friend coming in? Friend? Yeah, he was standing right next to you. What did he look like? Um, I don't know. I, 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 without my contacts, and I, I can see. I think you may be mistaken. It's just a little odd us. I, I can I can go check for you if you want. Uh, yep, yep, just us. <sighs> Strange. I must think I'm one head short of a farmyard. Well, um, uh, do sit down. She's fucking with us for some reason. Oh, oh, Ghostbusters, classic. I just love Bill Murray. Yeah. And you still watch all the old VHS tapes? I just never moved on to any of those discs. Blu-ray. What's that? <laughs> Did you travel far? Uh, no. Drove from London. My goodness. How special I feel. And uh, how was the hotel? Yeah, nice view of the sea. Ah, oh, I love all of these. Seen them over and over. Such a lovely place. So cozy. My husband found a great place for us. Well, I uh, I must give you a tour. Come on. This is my my bedroom. And uh, over here is uh, Debbie's room. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> My daughter died in a car crash. I really must move her in here. I'm Nicole, by the way. How do you know Max? Um, I'm his girlfriend. Yes, yes. I got a bit confused, you see. I'm fine with everything being filmed, Max. You mentioned that in your email. Yeah. It's just when you hear a camera person, you expect a cameraman. Well, girls are doing the job too now. Oh, how lovely. Well, you both must have some biscuits and tea. Yeah, I've got some camera equipment out in the car. Do what you need to do. The thing is, Sarah, I was wondering if you could give me a hand with it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I'm joking. Sorry. Bad joke. But at the same time, you better get used to it. Um, what was the joke? You're agoraphobic. You can't go outside. <laughs> You're so funny. Just what I expected. Well, if you want a real laugh, ask Nicole to pronounce agoraphobia. Oh, yeah. I can't say it. Say what? Ag agria. Ag Sorry about the mess. I don't know much about Sarah other than she thought Green Eyes had taken her daughter away. And if he didn't die in a car crash. Use a placemat. That's what it's there for. Sorry. So little bitch. Sarah. Sarah, are you ready? There's nothing to feel nervous about. I just want you to talk to me, okay? We're rolling.
or filming, yes, rolling. Do you want to move the camera back? It's not actually in shot. Sarah, tell me about your agoraphobia. How does it feel? I'm sorry, I don't understand. How does it feel standing there at the front door, unable to step outside? No, I see. How does it feel? Lonely. It feels lonely. Do you actually want to go outside? No. When were you last outside? It was just over five years ago. Sorry. Pillow was bugging me being on the floor like that. Five years ago. And that day, where did you go? The woods. Was it sunny like today? It was raining. When you dream, are you outside? I don't dream. Can we stop? Tell me where this all began. What it was that made you fear the outdoors so much. Sarah? Max, did you want to get Sarah a cushion? Mm -hmm. Okay. Just needs to run to the bathroom. Okay. Okay, are you ready to carry on filming? Um, it's getting kind of late. Oh, yeah, I mean, of course, we can... Um, do this tomorrow. Give you some time to rest. It's a, a lot on the first day. Strange people in your house, strange camera in your face. Yep, yeah, okay, let's do that then. You gonna get that? I'm sorry? There was someone at the door, there was a knock. I didn't hear it. Do you hear a knock at the door? I didn't hear anything. <laughs> I mean, I know what I heard, Jesus. So Max has seemingly lost his mind and we're going to film it. You didn't hear anything. Nicole. Careful, Max. Yeah, all right. Weird. Nicole, come check this out. That. That's kind of creepy. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Max. Yeah, okay. Let's wrap it up for the day. Crane Eyes has come knocking for you. She's constantly playing games, like that knock on the door, which she deliberately denied to try and scare me or something. <laughs> 
Why? I don't know. She's fucking mental, isn't she? Not very PC, Max. I think you cut that bit out. Yeah. Look, I'm not going to be able to help her if she keeps doing things like that. <laughs> Look how out of breath she is. Nice bum. Much more drama. Thank you. Should get one for Sarah. The Nicole Show, everyone. Come on, give us a twirl. No. As regular viewers of The Nicole Show will know, that tone of voice means Max is in the doghouse. Would that be a correct assessment? Sarah hates me. Don't film this. Fuck off, Max. What's the matter? Call me a silly little bitch. I know. And you didn't stand up for me? I just started filming and I don't want to piss her off any more than we obviously are. So I just have to take that, do I? When the time's right, we'll... we'll... She fancies you. Oh, don't pretend like you don't know. Oh, come on, Nick. She's not exactly my type, is she? She's probably all just riled up, might have had sex in years. You know, I walked in on her having a bath. What? Yeah, she, just, she didn't lock the door, was she just held my eyes. What did you do? Well, I shagged her over the bathroom sink. What do you think I did? I apologised and closed the door. Sarah and I just bond over a shared love of 80s movies. That's all. You never talk to me about 80s movies. Because you don't know any of them. Yes, I do. What's the one you know I love? Problem Child. <gasps> yes, came out in the 90s. Babe, look. Oh, I'm sorry, please, just don't be jealous, Nick. People watch the show and it's a weird thing. They, they, they feel like they know me more than they obviously do. That is weird. I've been going out with you for a year and I still don't feel like I know you. What's that supposed to mean? Women. Possibly the one area of psychology I may never understand. Green eyes put a curse in the town. Now, I could let you all suffer and let her finish her very long-winded story, or I could show you a lovely little animation Nicole prepared earlier. After his death in the late 18th century, Green Eyes became the town's Boogeyman, a story swapped by trick-or-treaters, a face at the window that you could have swore you saw, a bad dream. He was said to take people through three stages to enter his green hell. Step one. In the month of May, you'll hear a knock at the front door, but no one's out there. Of course, as Nicole and I recently experienced, to this day, local kids will take advantage of this, knocking on doors before running away. Step two. When you're next out in the woods, you suddenly find yourself completely lost. Seems as though there's nothing but trees with no sign of life. You've now become a victim of the endless woods. Step three, you've lost all hope and soon come across what's referred to as the greenhouse. Suggested to be a magical restoration of Green Eyes' burned down home. Don't go in there. I think the Green Eyes story may have taken a natural hold on Sarah's imagination. She may have been using it as an excuse to not leave the house, as a, as a cover-up for something else. And she's certainly trying to get me to believe this nonsense too. He's real. It's... it's real. Sarah! Sunny Penny! Is it Tuesday already? Who's Penny? Um, my friend. You like Penny. She she brings my supplies. Tampons and stuff. 
So we were talking about um, ah the endless woods. Mm, the story, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hang on, Max. Sarah, can we open the curtains and let some light in? It'll make for a better shot. I'd rather not. Uh, Penny, the the story about green eyes. Mm. Do you believe it? Yeah. Oh yeah, totally. Yeah, I mean, I know it sounds completely mental yeah, and everything, but yeah. yeah. But I mean, you know, there's there's more things to Earth than heaven or or whatever it is. Oh, I don't know. It's been ages since I did Hamlet in English. More things in heaven and earth than are dreamt of in our philosophy. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Penny used to be a presenter too. Oh, yeah. No, no, mm, that was yonks ago, back in the nineties. <laughs> Um, and to be honest with you, I was off my head on coke through most of the 90s, so I can't even remember it now. What was it, that show I did? Uh, Love is in the air. Yeah, Love is in the air. So, right, we sent these two people up in a hot air balloon, <laughs> like you do, yeah. and uh, when they came back down again, they had to see whether they really liked each other and they'd go on another date. Yeah, it was shit. It was a shit <laughs> show. I don't, I don't even think many people saw it because it was on at about, what, two in the morning or something. <laughs> Oh, those are the days. Anyway, I'm a fucking primary school teacher now, would you believe it? On shit pay. How long have you two known each other? Oh, God, ages now. Years, years. And we have our little film nights as well. We love yeah. those, yeah. But... <laughs> Ghostbusters. Oh, Ghostbusters, absolute yeah. classic. Yeah, yeah, totally, hear you. I mean, the 80s. Uh, Short Circuit, that's another one we love because the, the robot comes all alive with Steve and Guttenberger. Uh, Steve Guttenberg. Mm, yeah, that's... Listen to me with my frazzled brain. You'd never think I've got a first class degree in media studies. Me. Yeah. Nicole's doing media. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is good. It's wicked. But, um, God, different world now. Different world. I can't relate to all this Instagram and. Is that right? uh, Instagram. Instagram. You should hear Nicole pronounce agrophobia. Agrophobia. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, yeah, we've known each other years. And um, also, Sarah's, Sarah's little one as well. Little Libby, before, well, she was in my class, so I, I taught little Libby. She was an angel, wasn't she, Libby? Excuse me. Right, well, I think that's my cue. I best be off. But uh, no doubt I'll turn up again the same time next week like a bad penny. That's what everyone used to say. Whenever I turned up in email, yeah. That never got old, did it? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Nice to see you. Good luck with everything, yeah. Okay. okay, nice to meet you. Lovely meeting you. Okay. Yeah, I'll let you crack on. Sarah. Sarah, sorry. Um, I'll be here same time next week and I promise not to forget the biscuits next time. You can't have a cup of tea without Bicky, can you? Seriously, what was I thinking? <laughs> Bye-bye. See ya. We're running? We're filming, yes. Okay, Sarah. Actually, I want to try something else with you. Come with me. Come on. Okay. You're not going up? I know, I know. Just get a little closer. It's okay. I really must feel right here. Right. Now, I'm going to stand behind you. You push me out there, I'm going to stand. I wouldn't do that, Sarah. You have to trust me. Look at me. Do you trust me? <laughs> Loosen up. You're as stiff as a wooden block. Turn to face the world outside that doorway. Get a little closer to the door if you can. That's it. That's it. Now, um, close your eyes. I want you to visualize stepping outside onto that front doormat. You done that? Yes. Good. Good. No, 
Now imagine simply walking out the front door. Okay. How does it feel? Like death. Like I'll die if I go out there. Why won't, will you? No, look, I really like to Sarah, Sarah, listen to me. You're not going to die because you have many more years left to live. And when you were a child, you walked outside the house all the time, didn't you? I know that you're doing it more work. Yeah, let me be the judge of that. Sarah, when you were a child, did you or did you not move freely inside and outside the house all the time? Yes, I did. So go back for me, Sarah. Right back. You're a little girl again. Not a care in the world. Now raise your right foot for me. Take a very deep breath and simply move just that foot outside. Again? I believe you can. If you did it once, you can do it again. Don't say that, Sarah. Say I can. Say it. What do you feel physically? Move into your body, out of your head and into your body. What do you feel? My breath is shallow. My palms are sweating. My heart is beating so hard. You can do this. Yes. Yes, you can. Yes! Bring the camera. Here, I'll get this back on its feet. So sorry. What happened? I don't know. He was pushed. By who? You know who. <laughs> Green eyes? Okay now. Give her credit for what she believes. Okay, that's not a very helpful comment right now. But somehow it fell. Okay, things fall. It was old, the wood was uneven, the weight of the crap inside could have hauled it over. It's not the first thing in the history of time to have fallen down because of, because of the reasons that I just mentioned. It is pretty good. Now. Somehow it fell. Okay, ghosts or, or green eyes or whatever we're going to let our imaginations run with here was certainly not responsible. If, and I highly doubt it, ghosts do exist, I'm sure they've got better things to do than push over chest of drawers in Hastie's old town. It's ridiculous. Why are you getting so defensive? Oh, Nicole, don't. Jeez, fucking women. I just play outside where I could see her. 
and the sun was in my eyes looking out the window, making everything hard to see. She'd never gone into the woods alone before. And I could just make out her silhouette as she had done. And I knew. That was it. She gone. I remember Libby looking over at the door right before going out to play. Which makes me believe that she heard a knock on the door that I hadn't. Libby had just once mentioned green eyes. Ready? Put your candle Oh no, the wind got it. Who blew out the candle, Libby? Green eyes. Green eyes? Where is he? There. Well, what's he doing? I'm um, just watching the house. She's gone. Can we please stop? Yeah, okay, let's stop with the day. No. I want to stop. You have to leave, both of you. No, look at this, look. I have to go. It's okay, I'll, I'll deal with that. Just, just... Go! Sarah! Pack your things and leave. You wanted to go, so just go! Sarah! You push, and you push, and you push. If I don't want to go outside, I won't, because I can't. Not with them out there just yeah. waiting. Okay, I understand. You don't understand a fucking thing. You don't believe a word I say. I mean, they're out there. They're outside. They're outside! Who is? You know who! Green eyes and all the shadows that fall in the woods. The shadows of the dead. The trapped ones, they're weak, and they're lost, and they're broken, and he takes advantage of them all. He makes them do his dirty work. And they're all of them outside, waiting for me, and they think I'm weak too because I let them take my little girl. And now just maybe they're getting inside too. The dresser didn't just... It's him. It's them. It's evil. And you don't care. With your camera and your little girlfriend expecting me to... I don't know, humiliating me, making fun of me like everyone else. That's true. Get out of my home. Go. No, no, Sarah, I'm not leaving you. I want to help you. Sarah, look, there is nobody outside. Look. Don't you do that. Nobody can see you because it's all in your head. Both of you, go. No, no, I made a commitment. Please leave. No, Sarah, please, please. I want to stay. Get out of my house. No! We are doing this! Tell me what it's gonna take! What the hell do you expect me to do? Asking me all these fucking questions all the time, over and over and over again! Why don't you answer the fucking questions for me? I'm gonna go help. It won't help. She needs to do this. What happened? <sighs> Don't you care? Yes. What tough love and all that bullshit. She needs proper help, Max. You've opened up Pandora's box and we have a responsibility. Don't. Do not tell me how to do my job. She is a human being. She has lost a child. Oh, thanks. I know. I was listening. You don't believe her story at all, do you? Please. So what then? What happened? People go missing. Oh, you are so full of shit! I'm gonna go get some plasters. Yes. Feeling better? Much. <laughs> Come here. Hey, it's gonna be okay. Okay? Promise. I think that's enough for today, don't you? <laughs> Remove this mic. Hey. 
Nicole. Don't. It hurt. Max was always flirting with everyone. I never knew if I was being cheated on or not. There were probably others. But Sarah... I think it's working. Okay, so... I want to check it though, because I don't know. Okay. Uh. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that's the one, you got it. It's a bit small though. We were hoping for one of them like big cameras you see on the news or something. It's, it's black magic. What, like chocolate? No, no, like, like the camera. Mm -hmm. It's expensive though, is it? I don't know, I just hide it. All right, let's do this. Sarah, we've obviously had some time off, so I just want us to get back in the zone, as it were. Ooh, zone. Do you remember that? Oh, shut up, sorry. Do you remember that episode, though? That really classic one. Yeah. Uh, Sarah. Did you hear that now? On the door just now? No, no. No, babe. No, it's just kids. It's just kids. They probably know by now that we're filming. Sit down. Oh, what's the one's that? I don't know, like knocking on doors and legging it. It's, it's nothing. Like, I, 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 I couldn't see anyone, but it is dark, so. The point is, you didn't hear it. For me, I heard it like you only heard it before. This is what he does. He makes you, he makes you doubt yourself. He makes you doubt your own mind. Oh, he's never done for me before. Should we carry on with the filming? But you're not believing in any of this now then? No, 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 no. Funnily enough, I don't. I don't believe in phantom knocks or woods without fucking end. But do you know what? It would be good if these things were actually real. There's nothing good about the supernatural. <sighs> what did she mean by he's back? Well, I stayed over the whole night once with Sarah. It's about um, about a year ago now. I woke up in the morning, yeah, to hear screaming. Like she was screaming her head off. She was stuck outside, that's why. But that is the only time she has ever been out there. She just said um, she wanted to feel the sun on her face for once, bless her. But the weird thing is, she said that she felt herself being like pushed really hard in the back, forcing her outside. I don't know, like a pair of invisible hands or something. And she even got me to go to the local church. We had to bring someone in. They had to, I don't know, like cleanse the place. Yeah. Mental. Sarah, are you ready to have your mind blown? Mm, just get it over with. You know, I hate surprises. Penny, seen it? Yeah, I have, and it's, it's really freaked me out. I've not been telling you something, Sarah, and I hope you'll forgive me. Okay, so here we are with the first of my new video diaries uh, and it's an exciting entry on um what is it day six five day ah so here we are at the halfway mark with i always knew that sarah had it in her to leave the house but seeing is believing right that's what they say i checked everything at my disposal concerning sarah including the recent cctv footage of her front door I wanted to check the footage to see if she'd made any attempts to leave prior to me running certain exercises with her. And what I found... I checked how many times this event took place. Sarah's been walking out of her home in the middle of the night every night for just under a year. 
I noticed that in a lot of the videos, she was holding something in her hand. Why the knife? Where is she going? You must have seen your muddy boots by your bed. I never look at the shoes. I have no use for them. It seems you do. You must have nearly worn them through. You don't have any memory of this. Never knew you were a sleepwalker. Did you sleepwalk as a child? Max, what's going on? I filmed her last week through the lounge window. When we film late, she lets me stay over on the couch. I waited up until 3 a.m. Sarah? Can you hear me? Sarah? This is major. This is, this is a breakthrough. Sarah? Sarah, it's okay. It's a breakthrough, okay? Sarah, a breakthrough. It's fine. Look at me, okay? This is a good thing, okay? There is more, so be warned, but just look. Hi, Sarah. I want to show you something. Here is that face again that you carved into the tree. Just like a carving Nicole and I found before, which could be anywhere here in these woods. I say this as upon further inspection, I discovered these faces carved into pretty much every tree. Almost a year's worth of your artwork Sometimes the faces were very small, sometimes very big, sometimes at the foot of the tree and sometimes very high up, but they were always there to be found somewhere. This, this is a joke. You've carved those faces. Have you had any dreams that may give us, I don't know, some kind of clue to any of this? Like I said, I, I, I don't dream. Have you any idea what this means? Come on then, Dr. Fruitcake, what are we talking about in this shop? 
<coughs> uh, cognitive behavioral therapy. Sounds a bit boring. Yeah, it is. Right, we got enough light. Well, yeah, if we get a rig along. Yeah, well, touch wood, it lasts a bit. See, funny how you do that. You say, you of all people, you don't believe in nothing. And then you go tapping on wood. That is a pagan thing. Is it? Yeah. You know, people back then, they, they really believed that the gods were in their trees. People are idiots. Oh, I don't know. I quite like it. You'd, uh, you'd tap on the tree trunks to, to rouse the spirits and you know, beg for their protection. You're pagan. I'm just Penny. Whatever that is. Right, should we do this? You'll turn and face us then. Okay, we're filming. Sarah, when we first... You're not going to get me to leave the house. Not, not awake anyway. I'm telling you this now because I like you and I don't want you to waste your time. Why don't we just leave it? We're not leaving it. There's something different about you. Oh, yeah, the tie, do you like it? You've seen something. No? No? Did you show him the video? What video? I didn't in the end, babe, no, because I didn't think he'd believe it. Okay. Look, Max, Sarah really wants to stop all of this now and it, it's not because of anything she's doing. It's all you. you. You're not open to what's really happening here. You're the one in a, in a dead end and, and we don't know how to help you. It's like I was saying before, there are more things on earth than oh, heaven. Shut than up, people. shut up. What video? What's going on? What are you two up to? Sean. Really? Okay. There's so many of these shitty hoax ghost videos online. It's fitting that I'm here in the caves used by the Hastings smugglers. This is where um, you know, pirates and buccaneers hid back in the 17th and 18th century. It's fitting because it's now clear to me that both Sarah and tragically Penny too are both hiding together in a fantasy world. Do you know what this picture is? Is there something wrong with you? What? Do you understand this? I think you do. I think you've both been going through the footage on my camera. What is it? Stop it. This means something. What the fuck is wrong with you two? You think this is funny? I think it's funny that I had a girlfriend that died. Do you think cancer is funny? Of course not, no. What happened? Why are you fucking with me? I'm trying to help you. I'm not. You know what happened! I don't! Tell me! <laughs> this is all a joke, isn't it? <laughs> you thought you'd wind up the guy from YouTube. This is going out live somewhere. There's probably hidden cameras I should know about. Oh, I guess you rigged up the fucking dresser as well, didn't you? You did, didn't you? Tell me. Tell me how you did it. God, you are sick in the head, both of you. The fact that you would stoop to such a level. They're only ghosts. Don't 
Seriously, don't. I'm here to help, but I've got a breaking point. Just consider for a moment that everything you think you know is wrong. UFOs, all of it. What if death isn't the end? Yeah, and ghosts that do not exist. He had this, this girlfriend before Nicole called Laura and she died of cancer. I really messed up Max. Oh, and of course it did. I mean, she was only a young girl and he really loved her. And he lived in that hospital with her and he just watched it turn into a skeleton before his very eyes. I had no idea that Max had been through that. He never really spoke about his past. Had I known, I might have been able to... I don't know. Sarah? Sarah, please don't tell me. Please don't tell me. Fucking ghosts exist. Okay, the fucking love of my life died. And she's cold and dead and in the ground and I would give anything, absolutely anything, to have one last conversation with her. To tell her all the stuff we forgot to tell each other, the stuff that really mattered. The stuff that just got, got buried, buried under all the shit. And it's really fucking wrong, Sarah, for you to suggest that I can just dial her up on a Ouija board and say, hey, how are you? Long time no speak. I wish it was so easy. The dead are dead and in the ground. There are no such things as ghosts, Sarah. It's all in your fucking head. And until you begin to realize that, I can't begin to help you. I need some fresh air. Did you call the police? They wouldn't understand. Oh, yeah, yeah. I should have worn a fucking coat. I am. Yeah. I don't know what to say, really. I, I feel like I'm, I'm wasting my time. I, um, oh, here we go, more. Max. Yes, Penny. All right, okay, it was fake. Yeah, but. What? Not, well, not all of what? it. Not all of it, because what we were trying Brilliant, to... brilliant. Penny, please come and stand with me here and tell that to the camera. Uh, no, don't Come it here, here, Penny. You faked the video? Yeah. Why? Why would you do that? It wasn't Sarah's idea, okay? It was my idea, it's not on her, it's on me. Who was it? Wearing the mask? That's just a bloke I know. The frustrating thing is though, Green Eyes is real. He Where is, is it now? What, the mask? Yes. It's just in my bag, isn't it? I made it, all right? I. I just don't want you to walk out on her like now because you're actually getting really close and I just, just don't walk out on her. I have four days left to get her out of that house. Fail or succeed, after that, I am done. Uh, but you just said fail first, you're expecting to fail. Look, don't give up on her, yeah? Don't give up on her because the thing is, it's all right. I've seen green eyes. No, it's you yes, haven't. I have seen no, green eyes in you didn't. I'm still undecided about the whole ghost thing. I think I believe in it more than I don't, if that means anything. As to what happened to Max. Why did you fake the video? Because, Why? Because, Max. 
I just wanted you to, I had to give you something. I had to give you some evidence just to open you up a little bit because you don't give her story any credit, none. And I just thought if we could make you question things, like just a little bit, open the door a crack, whatever, because you're never going to see anything. You're never going to see the truth unless you just open yourself to it. And do you know what? We really wouldn't have tried this hoax, whatever you want to call it, had you not heard that knock, yeah? The first day you were here, you heard a knock. And that made me realise that you do have the ability. Max, you have the ability to see, you have the ability to hear, and you have buried it so deep all these years. You've been burying it. That's what you've been doing. <sighs> I tell you something though, Max, we did not fake that picture. That was posted under the door. That was horrible, that drawing. The cancer. Max, I, I'm really sorry your girlfriend died. I'm sorry, I didn't know. Okay, quick note on the fake video we made. Let's take a quick look at it. If this is green eyes, knock back twice. Okay, so green eyes there, that's actually my mate Steve, dressed up, who's uh, actually filming me right now. Thank you, Steve. So, hands up to that. That was fake. Sarah's expression there, that ain't fake. Yeah, her reaction is, is real. But those knocks, they came out of nowhere. I can't explain that. We couldn't go into that room after that. We just couldn't. And then that same night, I woke up to see green eyes at Sarah's bedroom window. So I'm fucked, yay. <laughs> but it's weird how it makes you feel. It ain't a nice sensation. And no, it wasn't a fucking dream before you say oh, it's just a dream. It's not a dream. I know what a fucking dream feels like. Got to keep it down as Sarah's asleep. <laughs> I wish I could sleep. I've just 
got so many things going on in my head. I, um, I've been challenged in these episodes, and that's a good thing. <laughs> Sorry, I'm thinking out loud. I, I guess I'm, I'm looking for ways to still achieve my goal. To help Sarah. Sarah? Did you hear that? Uh, I didn't hear anything. Louis's voice calling me. I didn't hear that. Sarah, are you awake? Wide awake. Sarah? 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 Sarah! Sarah! She did it! She's outside! We did it, and she's awake. The mindsets I installed into her have finally started to take over from all that fucking fog in her brain. The exercises have worked, and there she is. Look. <laughs> Sarah, what are you doing? <laughs> I've got to document this. I'll show her everything later. Sarah! Sarah, Sarah, this is amazing. Sarah. Did you see her? No, no I, I didn't. Here, here, she was standing no, right here. here. Come here, come here, come here. Here, listen, listen. You've not been awake and outside in five years. <laughs> there is more things in heaven and earth, folks. It was her that was scared of me. Poor thing. <sighs> You're outside, okay? You did it! Where is she? That's the trick. Oh my god, he got me. I really thought it was her. I wanted to see her again so badly. He got me! Hey, listen, Sarah, Sarah, no one got anyone, okay? You're outside. Come on, let's just get back to the cottage and celebrate. It's gone. What's gone? The hell's all that stuff? Okay, okay, it's okay, okay, listen, listen. You've been through a great deal, okay? There are no endless woods, Sarah. He got you too. Of course. We both are the not. So did Penny. But let's just get back to the cottage, yeah? Which direction did we come from? Okay. We seem to have gotten a little lost. How big are these woods, Sarah? Sarah? They're endless. Endless? <laughs> How exciting. We are in the endless woods. You know it's over, right? Nothing is over for you. How do you know? Okay, I want to tell you a story. Outside the hospital where Laura died, there was a school. And on the day she died, in her final moments, those children were singing that annoying song, If you're happy and you know it. And Laura turned to me and smiled at how ridiculous the moment was. And then that was it. That was it. The whole thing was over. I felt it. Right now, Sarah, nothing is over for you, okay? If anything, this is a new beginning for you. How do you do it? Huh? Deceive yourself like that every day. It's over, Max. Turn the camera off. Let's just get back to that cottage. There is no reality outside these woods. We can't get back to the cottage because it's gone. It exists in another place. We're in his kingdom now. Sure. Sure, I understand.
Do we believe we'll see Max again? I'll say this. That camera footage somehow made its way out of the endless woods and landed on our doorstep after a rather ominous knock at the door. It's not out of the question. The same thing can happen with Max. No sign of life yet. And it has been quite some time. I don't know. Um, maybe she was right. Maybe we really are stuck in the endless woods. All I know is This place doesn't exist outside of pictures and books! It's the home of Green Eyes.
Inside. Let's just, let's what, just go. What, suddenly, what, you couldn't go outside and now you can't go inside? Max, let's go. just come inside. No. Go I inside. Want to, I, want I want you to see this. Seriously, no. I want you to see this. Come inside. Come inside. Let me go. Come inside. Go. Come inside and see. Come inside. Try to help someone, you know. And I really did try. But she wouldn't listen. I'll continue to help others, you know, you you lose some, you win some. But Sarah, you were sick in the head. Nothing I could do for her. I barricaded myself in here as best I can. I'm not going out there. With him waiting. Psychology inside.